Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is 420, 2018, a Friday, and that means it's another wonderful day for basics. Now, a lot of you might assume what we're going to be doing in today's basics game, maybe in light of the day. Maybe we're going to play a nice, calm, chill, relaxed game. But you would be wrong. Today, courtesy of a fellow streamer who expressed a little bit of uh, confusion as to how to fight, how to attack, how to even kill things. I think we're going to step things up and play a very, very aggressive game focused on answering those questions. How do we fight? How do we know when to fight? How do we know we can get away with a kill? And while we do that, I pose a question to you, dear viewers. Are, are you like the streamer? Do you also have trouble fighting? If you have to fight in a game, are you comfortable with it? Do you feel like uh, that's going to go okay for you? Are, you? are you comfortable doing that? Are you uncomfortable doing that? Would you rather like kind of, you know, step away from that and not get into that? Like, like where do you fall on that particular feeling? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it. I'm curious to know where my viewers are on that subject. Because you know where I am on that subject. If it moves, I'll try to kill it. So here we are playing as a 3Q on Foxy as White. Waiting for our opponent to make a first move. Gonna be waiting a while, apparently. It's really hot. All right. Just because we're fighting doesn't mean I have to take a uh, diagonal like approach. All right. Let's see. Got the corner. He's approaching me. Can I fight? I could, but this is really just a Jaseki. You know, not really a fight. It's kind of just like a Jaseki. So let's just get something that uh, is pretty decent to deal with here. Let's go with. Uh, this is pretty common. That's pretty common. Now let's go with this one. Jiseki shouldn't really matter here. Just don't do anything like long and long and drawn out. Um, let's go ahead and do some settling, settling, settling. Suddenly a break in Jiseki. Can I fight? Uh huh. Yes, I can. They should have backed off, not played the Hane. So can I fight? Should be able to. Am I going to? You betcha. So that's first indication. If you know it's Seki, and they break away from it, sometimes fighting it is not the answer. Sometimes letting them do whatever is the answer, because maybe they owe you an extra move, and then you just get Sente. Let's see what happens here. All right. So we've got a lot of uh, um, words. <laughs> we have a lot of cuts. Can I cut here? I can, but that doesn't look very good. So I'm either going to play here or here. If I play here and they play there, then what was the point of any of this? So I'm going to play here. Incoming, they should uh, probably Atari me. Now, I'm not going to take, since it goes into an Atari, I'm going to play here. Now, there's two cutting points. You see that? If they play here, I'm going to play here. If they play here, I'm going to cut them. See? Something just like that. I made myself strong in the corner. I didn't take. That gives a forcing move. And now... They're scrubbled because they're trying to look after two things simultaneously. Ooh, that's tough to do. That's so tough to do. So the first thing we found was a weakness. That weakness was a flaw. That flaw was a break in Jiseki. So we made ourselves nice and strong like the mountain. Now he's leaning on this stone. I'm extending up saying, yeah, yeah, my dude, take that stone. And then we go back and kill the other because he had to defend two places at once. 
he was interested in one. We forced him to strengthen that one thing he was interested in even more, and then we just went back and, uh, you know, killed off these little guys. Do we have to play here? Always beware of Sentei if you're trying to play an aggressive player, or play as an aggressive player. You want to always make sure you know where Sentei is, so you can get the most out of whatever your opponent hasn't done on the board yet. So, alright, do I have Sentei here? These... Uh, Atari, extend, who cares? I don't, I don't see a way for that to ever go anywhere. Um, play there, there, play there, play... I, I, it looks like these are dead. So... Next up is this. Can I save my one stone and make this float? That's our next aggressive decision. Or am I going to force him to take another stone in here just to get a base? I've already been through this. Now what? been snug the past couple of days. So I broke out the hot chocolate and decided, why not? So I am drinking hot chocolate tonight. Before it gets too warm for to really like be doing that again. Don't like hot chocolate in summer. I are not a fan. So you can see if the Atari's here, we Atari him back and then Hane and then he's dead. If he extends one more time, then suddenly he can Atari into going here, and then if I Hane, I'm dead. So if he plays this one, <clears throat> I will either extend once more. Alright. I got him to do what I want him to do. Defend this area. Right? So now I got my base. So we broke this area up. Nice and aggressively. Then we should get Sente from here, because he owes us a move here. And once we have Sente... We can ask ourselves, where can we uh, contest next? What, what's the next area that he wants for himself? And can we do anything about it? Ooh. Okay. I want to go into that 3-3. Three, three. That 3-3. Three, three. Let's think about that. I want to contest the 3-3. Three, three. I want to fight that thing and start going after it. So what's that going to do? That's going to drop him down, right? 3-3 three, three into drop. And then that, ooh, that's going to hurt me. So I need to defend myself once. Get myself a little bit more to deal with here, right? A little bit more to deal with. I want his 3-3. I know it's going to drop down. That's going to hurt my base. So I'm going to defend my base, as we can see here. Now I've opened up the 3-3 possibility. So let's, give it, let's, let's have a conversation about that. Now, this is obviously way over-the-top aggressive play that I'm doing right now. You can obviously implement this into uh, the more basic rule set of corner side center. I'm just showing you how we go about making decisions on how to attack. And the next game, I'll do a kind of like a combination of the two. So, all right. <clears throat> I can play here because the... Exactly. Now I'm going into here. Which should let me live. <laughs> Something a bit like... Like, I know that live, but do I really need that move? Can't I just like play this one? Probably, huh? Let's go ahead and play it. I think it's okay. I could be wrong. I know we're alive now. I'll respond, because this is an Atari. And he's strengthening my group. Now, is, is he alive? If he's alive, this cutting stone doesn't matter. So, can I make this into a dead shape? Uh, no, so forget the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. And then I'll just play something a bit like... 
I don't know, something a bit like that, I guess. Making myself that shape. So it looks like we're doing so okay so far. Okay, what next? Uh, assess situation. I just lost the game. Oh, I just missed an Atari. Oh my god! Oh, my, my merciful. Thank you! Oh my god, thank you, merciful one. Thank you, merciful one. I appreciate you not, not just winning the game right now. Oh my god. All right, so we unfortunately got a little bit more undercut here, so we have to get out, like, now. Okay, that's a little bit, a little bit bad, not gonna lie. The fact that he didn't catch that when I, my misclick, or he, he just, like, pitied me. Like, one of the two. I'm down with, I'm down with whatever answer that is. Now we're just going back into our weak group. Like, even though we're playing aggressive, we are not ignoring our weak groups. We're not overplaying. We're not trying to get away with trick plays, right? This is, um... This is, uh, nice and weak, so we made it nice and strong. I am dividing this group from this group because I have an idea that maybe I can sweep and pincer it. So I don't want this to connect so much. Uh, but it's so dang small, ain't it? I'm gonna cut it up anyway. If he connects, it's gonna get really bad for him. Alright. Alright, there you go. So, um... Uh, pincering this is still really, really sketchy. But it's okay. This feels even more over the top than, like, everything else I've played. But, I'm gonna pincer it. I'm gonna pincer it. I identified a weakness. I'm going after it. I'm strong. I can afford this. Okay. Jump out. He can connect here if he wants to. He should. He should. I might say, but if he connects here, then what was the point of this? Well, I'm getting more stones in the middle. There's a cutting point here, so I can find something to do with it. Right? We can find something to do with it. Mmm, good. He should have been able to connect. I'm gonna play here. If he plays here, he can cut me, or he can do something over. He could cut this now, maybe I think. Or double. Yeah, he can hunt it here. Yeah, that would work. All right, so he's connected. He let me connect up. I'm gonna let him connect up because he. Sh I should have, Atari this stone and not been killed. He let me get away with it. He should have. Uh, connected here, so he could connect underneath, and he would be fine there too. So he he let me off. I'll 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 let him off. So at this point, I'm gonna again. We're not overplaying. Remember, we're not overplaying. So I'm gonna connect up my stones real quick, like so. Nice strong shape here. And now I'm gonna uh, contest this. Now that I have Sente. Okay. Now we're going to play aggressively to try to gain a lot. We're threatening to kind of like come on in. Threatening to build up a lot in the middle. Maybe cut here and like make the bottom big. Threatening a lot of stuff right now. Ooh. Nicely done, sir. Keep him a little bit low. That is good instinct right there. That's what that one is. Good instinct. 
I'm going to play something a little bit uh, non-standard. If I play here, then <sighs> invasion here, uh, invasion here. It's like, it's like textbook shnikes. So I'm going to actually make a large knight here, which is threatening to make this area also large. But you don't really have the textbook invasion, Giuseppe, that you might otherwise um, expect, right? Okay, so he's trying to come into here, but we're trying to build this area up. So my question now is, can I cut through here? Because we're attacking for our profit. Right? It is our profit that we are attacking for. I can't, I can't find out, I can't set how to like best seal this off, like there's a hole here, there's a hole here, I'm just kind of like maybe thinking that this one's not as large. If it goes after this one I can cut it, or if it goes after this one I can like block it. But this one I couldn't really see how to block, like this one, if he comes in this way I have to block here, and then he comes in this way and I block here, and then suddenly like I'm seeing a smaller area, right? But, I, but if I play this one, he comes in here, I can block this, and this is still pretty big, right? Ooh. Well, that can't live local, so I'm actually going to fly a kite. Have to cap it. Have to cap it, make sure it can't come out. Seriously? Ads? Just the one, I'll let it go. So we're capping here. Okay. Leave little odd G. I'm extending up. Because I'm threatening to Hane under and cut these two off. If I play here, he plays there. If I play here, he makes it like the basic shapes. I'm playing this one to make certain that he does not get those basic shapes. And now I'm taking his shape points aggressively. Real aggressively. Looking for those shape points, looking for the aggression. I'm fine over here. I don't see a way to cut through this, but I'm going to play something like this into this in a minute. Just to reinforce, because this is going to this is gonna be a thing in a minute, right? This is going to be a thing. So, I played a couple of forcing moves. That's as strong as I can make that position. That's absolutely hands down as strong as I can make that position. I can't strengthen it anymore. So now we attack. Alright, prioritize Sente. I'm blocking this way. I'm going to play the Hane, and then I'm going to reinforce this, because it's another shape point, right? Like, after you see it, you realize, oh yeah, that's a shape point. Like, is it, was it a useful one? I don't know, but it's a shape point, so I'm taking it away from him. I'm threatening, again, just other things that he might have tried to play to live here. I don't see any other way to make this any more um, solid. So, I think this is dead. I committed two extra stones to see that dead. So, I think that's dead, and therefore I'm going to play a large point now. Something a bit over here, maybe. Alright. Um, I don't think there's any reason to play here again, so I'm going to fix this once more. And you can see our shape looks pretty special, doesn't it? Does it look pretty good? Like where where are the bad where are the bad shapes in here? It's hard to find them, right? Like not a whole lot of unnecessary moves.
But from here, I think we can we can call it uh, good enough. So it would appear he's dead. Uh, from here, we should be going to counting. Unless he wants to continue trying to mess around with the metal stuff. He might. But no eyes. It's tough to live when you don't have any eyes, let me tell you. Because in order to live, you have to see. And if you don't have any eyes, how can you see where the life is? I, I just don't, I don't see it. I think Hane is okay. Connection seems fine. Um, I can make a little bit more territory here in the middle with a move like this. Grants like four or six points, something like that. I could play here, then he atari's me, I connect and he extends, then he gets two, four, six, seven points. Kind of weird. Um, I don't see a real reason to give him that, so I'm going to connect. <clears throat> Threaten to kill. Just threatens to kill on the stones. This kills this cutting stone. There we go, make sure we're nice and alive. Stand out so we can't Atari. Seems fine. Um, uh, the rest of this is going to be endgame, so as usual, I will, I think, uh, time-lapse the rest of this. And I'll see you at the review.
All right. So we won that game. Uh, the resignation, it looks like. So the question is, how do we do that? The question is also, how do we review this game? What the crap? I'm like locked in the end of it. I can't scroll back through. What? Okay, I'm not stupid. I know how to scroll through a game on on Foxy. Thank you. I can't. I can't actually do it. That is so bizarre. All right. Um. Old-fashioned way. All right, there we go. So old-fashioned way. We need Spocky. Why not? Spocky's cool. Um. So. Uh, I was white. Now, normally you play this one, this one, here, 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 and then here. Or you could also play um, here, here, here. Uh, into something, I don't know. I think it's this one into this one. Or is it this one, this one, this one into that one? I'm not even sure. There's like a variation there. I haven't studied it a lot because I, I just don't play it. It turns into like a lot of complicated fighting with this one stone and I just don't feel like playing variations that do that, that's all. Um, but he played here instead. Now the key to this is to realize bad shape. If I take this one stone, then suddenly I have some pretty questionable shape, don't I? Like, I don't, mm, I don't know. I'm not sure if I like that. He could even play something like this now, for example. And then even if I take this, that just gets hurt. And if I take this, that just gets hurt. And I don't like that shape either, right? So either way, that's making bad shape. So I descend again. That way I'm threatening to go underneath, threatening to cut, threatening to Atari. He connect one. I cut here, so I'm living locally. I've already got him pincered. So now what? Now granted, if I played here and he played here, that could be more okay. But again, he's kind of got to deal with this one stone. I've connected up. I'm not surrounded. So it's a huge difference from this variation, for example, and where I'm completely surrounded. So... Wouldn't like that. And that's because we didn't want to make the bad shapes. And again, you're like, but well, if he plays here, then he's got you completely surrounded, right? No, we play this one. We don't play here. We play this one first. Because now if he plays this, he's getting cut again. You see that? He can't defend one or the other. So no matter what he does, at this point, he's letting me either connect, I just hit myself in the face with my own, fi with my own fist, that's great. Yummy. Either I am connecting up, right? Because he'll play something like this, and then I'll get this one in. So, not bad. Or he's connecting, and I get to cut him into two parts again. So there's a huge difference there. So this is why we always mind our shapes. So that's what we have here. He said, I want to let this live. And I'm like, prove it. He said, okay, then I kill this. If he's like, well, but what if he plays here? Then we follow up and that's about as dead as you can get, right? That's only has three liberties. Can he kill me in three moves? Not from where I'm sitting, right? Doesn't take a lot of reading for that. Figure that one out. So this is Sente into death. Good fight. Good fight. Either we were cutting him into two parts, which we were, or we were connecting, which he didn't allow. If we cut into two parts, neither, both of them couldn't be defended simultaneously, therefore one of them died. Here, we didn't register that he had Sente off of us, so we played here, threatening to get in something like this, which would make this completely undercut again, and uh, kind of baseless. Well, it has one base, I guess, like one eye. If he really, really wants to, he could have. Ugh. Not pretty though, huh? 
So we played here, we got a base. We wanted to invade his corner. That looked a little open. So we were like, hey, give me strength. And he's like, okay, invasion. Now from here, I mean, he wants to surround, but this is like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, line base. So how do, how do we surround this way? Looks like there's still holes there. Um, this way, I mean, where do we where do we surround from? It's tough now. It's really tough. Ugh, that should have been there. Then when he plays this, we'll just back off, and then we've got shape again. This is so stupid. Ladder right to his stones. Embarrassing. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Making ourselves nice and strong. La 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 la. Pincer in the group with no base. If he plays here, there's like me eye cutting point thingies, right? So I'm like, you know what? Okay. You should have been connected, so I'll I'll give you a bone since you gave me a bone. And then from here. If we play something like this, maybe he plays this one into this one. And now suddenly he has shape. Can we even kill this anymore? Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, it looks like no, right? So we played here. He can still do this one, but it comes at a cost. He doesn't get to come out and live. He wants to live, it's gonna be local, right there. Okay, we're poking at the shapes, making the forcing moves, solidifying our kill, and taking it for granted. I mean, willing to invest, willing to invest. And then we're Gucci. The rest of the game was pretty straightforward. Just kind of poking at each other a little bit. And uh, it's predominantly just like game over, just, you know, large points on the first line, second line, things like that. Uh, poke, poke here, poke, poke there, don't let him in the middle, and game ends. Let's play again. So we are black this time, throwing down a 34 point. Going for two of them. He kicks me up, begins a fight. He plays away from me. Well, I get to follow up then. Going with the old uh, Tasharu. Gonna go ahead and cut here. Force him into the middle, or force him into the corner rather. That way we got to surround him. Uh, this is kind of interesting. I'm going to attack him with a light pincer to build this area up. You see how we're kind of milling, milling, kind of building like a little square sector dealio thing in here slowly but surely. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it a lot, in fact. Uh, I can go ahead and Hane again, and then connect. What happens in this corner? I ain't got a clue. Uh, once again, he's coming on in, so I will take his base from him, I suppose. Make sure I get something from my investment here. Okay, he's shoulder hitting me again. Which is kind of weird. This time we're going to sweep him. And see if we can't prevent him from living local. Not live locally right now. All right, you see how I went two space? We th we diagonal because we're threatening to poke through the two space, both directions. You see that? But we do want sent we do want um territory. So I will take a moment out of my day to say, all right, I want some points. And now I'll take another moment on my day to divide and conquer. This and this can't connect, so we're going to go ahead and separate them. 
I think he'll agree with me. Surround. Strengthen. And he's dead. He has one eye and Gotei on the bottom. Four stone second line means one eye Gotei because I can do Hane Hane and you're dead. Can I help you? It's okay. Looks like we get to connect up this in a minute. It's kind of nice. Mm. I'm a little nervous, to be honest. I think I made a mistake with one of my moves here. If my corner's in trouble, if he plays this one, I have to block, and then he plays there. If I connect, I'm not alive locally. <sighs> I hear ya. I hear ya, I hear ya, I hear ya. Very well, you're alive. That's okay. But we have a lot of influence, so it's not the end of the world. Strengthen. And now if I wanted to play aggressively for more things, where would I play? Where would I play? Where's the aggressive move? Going here to build the middle. You can see what we're doing here. Um, I don't really want my stone to die. So if you could kindly not kill me in the corner, it'd be great. This is an attack on us, so we are actually defending. Getting better shape. Fine by me. More, more, more in the middle, in the middle. Um, how do I even, ah, oh God, how do I, where, where's the move? Is it like there, there? There, here, this looks kind of reasonable. Let's go ahead and play something like this. Now we've got this kind of thing going on. Don't cut through that, that's insanity. Okay, be insane. Oh no, he's killing my stones. Heavens to Betsy. Whatever will I do? Uh, you know what? Those are yours too, good sir. Take those stones, my good man. Can't honey. Like, ever. So, he has to reduce the 10, 11, 12, 13th line territory that I have in the center of the board. Seems good. Now, watch the damn shape. I'm not going to play here, because if there's weird cuts, I don't want to read that crap out. I'm going to play here instead. This is better shape. He hit me, I stone, so I'm going to respond. Uh, I don't seem to care about this one. So I'm going to extend down. Here's the shape point, so we respond. Same. Poking out the eyeballs. Woo! Woo! And last but not least, I'm also going to play something in here. 
to make certain that Tiger Mouth to make certain that uh, he can't turn here for potential eye right there. So we got rid of all of his peepers. Um, jeepers, creepers, where'd you get them peepers? Jumping on down, it's not what we consider a uh, uh, crane's nest or whatever because the stone's not gone and neither is that one. Connecting on up, la 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 la. Okay. Small knight, we can cut that one off. Makes our life infinitely easier. Rude! Kill that off. But it's okay, this is a bamboo joint. You got one, two, three, four, five, six liberties. Do we have more than six liberties? One, two, three, four, five, six, say, and that's 11, 50. Okay, yeah, we got more than six liberties. We're good. Fact, so he has no eyes. I'm gonna play here as well, make sure that this can't go anywhere. So now we're just freaking alive, okay? Now we're just freaking alive. So at this point, the entire middle is dead. Because he needs two eyes to live. He has zero so far. That's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um... Okay, so we'll respond to that, and that, and that. So at this point, ah, oh, you are going to try it. Connect solidly so you don't have a liberty shortage all of a sudden on your hands. Like if I play here... Well, then, like, what happens if, like, is there, like, a thing over here and here? Because this is, like, not really connected. It only has a couple of liberties. And those are the questions I don't want to have to answer. Like, ever. Like, act actually never. I'm going to go ahead and cut that one. Do 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 do. You're cute. He's not realizing that this is a cutting point, though, is the, is the only problem here. But even if it wasn't, we can play this one. You know? Seems okay. He plays here, we play this one. He plays here, we play this one. If he connects, we kill it all. Roger that, still all dead. Just kind of connect that up, don't mind me. Just uh, some pretty basic uh, end game stuff.
I can play here because he can't cut through me. Did I stutter? Because he didn't take, I get to Atari is here as well. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Uh, which means I get to connect up that one? Oh my god. That is just this. That is. Holy crap. That is illegal in at least, like, half of the states in the United. in, in the USA. I mean. That's gotta be illegal somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere that's a felony. Oh, thank God! What is my my life and death sucks right now. If he extended, oh God, was it that that would that have killed me? I think it might have. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man! <laughs> oh boy, that can't kill me. Here we're alive. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so I think we could do a monkey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, too far? Oh god, I misclicked. Okay, that was not a. Uh, that I don't know what species of fam of monkey that's from, but uh, sure. We don't talk about that. I misclicked. That was a misclick. Oh man. My brain's slightly not functional today. I apologize for a couple of these mistakes I've been making in this uh, basic series. Ugh. Rude. Diagonal could be played down here. I don't know why I did that. That's just. That's just flipping bizarre, yo. Just gonna connect. And not let him cut up, uh, connect up. I uh, guess Tiger's Mouth. Into whatever this is. Alright, I'll play here, it's fine. I mean, I'm connected to this group, right? So, I don't know, this is just dead. I'll keep it dead multiple ways, I guess. You got one eye. Yeah, we're not gonna connect and let you throw it and kill us. Okay, we're gonna play here now. Now here you'll notice there's a liberty shortage. Please connect that up. Or not. Alright, that's fine too. Poke. Poke, poke, poke. Make sure I'm completely 100% alive. Um, this was interesting, doesn't it? Oh, you know that's a kill. You know that's a kill. So we can throw in here. And if you place here, we can falsify that eye. Like so. Not a cull. It's a uh, 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 thing where life, seki, sente, seki, seki, seki. Um, ugh, I have to do this. 
He's trying to make me like do snap back things or something. But we're just gonna play here instead. That we want to worry about this kind of thing. Alright. So just like that, I think we established a couple of ways that we could attack. I see from my timer, I don't know how long I've been live actually because the uh, version of OBS I'm using right now doesn't tell me. Feels like not very long though. It, it feels like I haven't been live or I haven't been recording very long. So I might do one more game. All right, Let's see if we can review this game. Oh my god, we can. Hallelujah. All right, so we played away. This is pretty standard. Uh, if you want, you can be a jackass and just like keep doing this kind of, oops, wait, sorry, no, nope, no, nope. sorry, sorry, fight, fake news. Ah, son of a, there we go, something a bit like that one. I got a complete surround on I me, mean, that's fine too. We just did this one because we're lazy. Uh, now we have influence and he's completely surrounded the corner because Go is called the surrounding game and that's a good thing to do. Uh, he approached here low, so we pincered to kind of like make the set area a thing. Now he's settling, I guess, but this is weird because he gave me an extra strength, so we pincered that too to use our strength. All we have to do is just make more than this here and make more than like this with this group. Long as we do that, we are good to go. All right, so we. Uh, this is, by the way, not what you do. Usually, when you're pincered here, your best bets are to play something like this, and then just go ahead and settle. Downside is that's gote. So at this point, white probably is gonna, or black is probably gonna be like, uh, I don't know, high Chinese. I mean, just pick your poison. Like, what do you want to play here? Do you want to play an enclosure? Do you want to play a framework? Um. Do you want to get cute? I don't recommend getting cute. The bottom side's too open to really invest this heavily on the side. I'm kind of digging six, though. Six is kind of nice. I like six a lot. This, on the other hand, um, not good. It's too, it's too weak. This, however, is really interesting. Like, he made it two space. I can't cut it directly. Because this is, I mean, what's this going to do? Like, what is, what am, what am I doing here? It's like, I'm being aggressive. No, you're being stupid. You just gave him, like, oodles of shape, you moron. That's not good. But I can poke. And then I can poke to make him heavy. And then I can make him into this shape. One-eyed goats, right? So I'm setting up to ruin him. If he ignores me, if he wants to remain... In the land of the living, do something like this, I follow. I, oh, it's so much of a pain in the butt. But he could be okay here. And then we keep making, you know, large plays. Right? 
but he's like, I want to fight over this area. He's like, you want to fight me? I'll fight you. So he caught me and I ignored the crap out of him. Now, this should be here. Get rid of this one and then play this. At that point, who gives a... Who gives an English muffin what he's doing here, right? Because we've set up pretty reasonable shape. Right, right, right. But I just think I could hold this one. This seems bad. And to be fair, even now, like I could play this one, right? Like even now, I think maybe we could still kill this, but eh, whatever. It's fine. Things didn't go as planned, made sure we're alive, got our sente, and then profited. He needs to be reducing in the middle. He didn't, so we just kept building up and building up and building up until we just stopped caring about anything anymore, and then that was game. Once you got an area like this, you can't just live in the center of the board. I'm sorry, it's just not possible. Give up whatever we need to in order to keep the center, and then just go for shape. Like, do we see shape here? Yeah, we don't really want to push here because this is like four, five, seven, six line territory, so we we'll spawn once. At most, he could play here. And if he does play something like this, I'll play something like this one instead. And then poke it as shape. He'll attach to me. I will play something like this. And then back off. Make him heavy. And then back off. Like, get that sente. Like, I'll poke it as shape. He'll try to counter poke. I'll see if I have a sente move. If I have a sente move, I'll play it and then I'll get out of there. So just like get in, hit, and get out, right? Don't stay in, don't stay in his guard too long. Just get in and get out. Otherwise, he's gonna flatten you. Here, you could argue this could be played here, but then it kind of gets all messy by having to read out this crap, like snore. I mean, you're fine. Just don't misclick. Like you're you're fine. You could easily do this. Because, I mean, this isn't going to matter, right? This goes nowhere. Again, we tackled that shape point. Got that forcing move in. Got that forcing move in. Forcing move for me I. Well, you could play here, actually. With one for white. That wouldn't be too bad. He left bad shape point behind. So immediately, we're like, bam, shape point. And then got out, got out, and then we're good. Now at this point, he could play here and go for a capture ace, right? Not that way, that way's not gonna work. Right? But he could play something like this, I guess. But I think it's too difficult. Like, oh man. Like, that's what he's looking for now. Like, I have eyes, right? He doesn't. So, who wins the capture race? Me. I do. One eye beats none right now. And if I need a second one, I'll just be like, bam, got my second one. So we're good. A little risky here and there, but overall, not bad.